Our summer of funkiness continues. Let's check this one out. I mean, just look at this shape. It's called Osmo RPM XI, and the shape is just catchy to me. And it's obviously something I'm loving to see, and I can't wait to see how it has done for our teams. But you got everything shifted off to the left side with the midfield kind of shifted off to the right. So the one thing I don't like about the website that I'm getting these uh, tactics from is there's usually not a lot of description. So this one basically says same as the R Osmo RPM2, except there's a couple of different instructions added. Uh, but basically they use this with man with uh, Fulham, sorry, 71 points getting into fourth place, not too shabby. So we're going to check it out though with our three teams of Liverpool, Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. Let's just get to the Premier League and see how they did. Well, again, we are using the updated database, the four points deducted from Nottingham Forest you can see behind my pretty face. But overall, this tactic, yeah, I think it worked pretty well. Liverpool in first place, 104 points, 128 goals, 34, two and two is a fantastic job. Astonville in second with 85 points. I mean, Liverpool won it a long time ago, but 114 goals for Aston Villa. Yeah, this, this definitely worked. Domestic Cups for Liverpool. They get to the Carabao Cup final and beat Manchester City 3-2 in extra time. Very well done. Unfortunately, they do get to the FA Cup final and lose to Tottenham 3-2. And an absolutely perfect run in Europe. The Europa League final over Bayern 3-0. An absolute thrashing. So Premier League trophy, check. Europa League trophy, check. Carabao Cup trophy, check. FA Cup trophy, well, you got runners up. I'll take it. So Liverpool squad, I'm assuming good things here. 39 goals for Salah is fantastic. Jota with 28, 26 for Nunez. That is quite the pairing. And then all the way down to Wartoro Endu get 10 goals. Wow, that's crazy. 31 assists for Robertson. Sobs lie with 26. That is an insane amount of numbers. And then Mohamed Salah with a 754. Switching things up over to Aston Villa, you could see Carabao Cup third round out immediately against Swansea. But then FA Cup quarterfinals against Tottenham. Yeah, 3-4 loss. But still, that gives you a lot of time to get into the Premier League and get those points up until you start hitting the FA Cup in January 6th. Yeah, that's a good amount of time there. And apparently a good amount of points. And an unbeaten run for you in Europa League as well. Conference League, I should say. But Slavia Prague, 2-1 fall, and you get the trophy there. So overall, Aston Villa getting second place in the league is fantastic. We've seen them get first, but very few times. But second place is terrific. Winners of the Conference League, great. Out again in the quarters in the FA Cup, eh. But third round of the Carabao Cup is pretty awful. So squad-wise for Aston Villa, we got some green here too. 36 goals for Ollie Watkins, 31 for Diaby. Well done. 20 for Ramsey. Assist, 26 for Lucas Dinier. Kamara with 23. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Lucas Dinier with a 7-5-4. Data hub for Liverpool. Yeah, attacking minded through the roof. Dribble is made through the roof. Goals per game, 3.37. That is insane. I think that's one of the highest we've seen, if not the highest. 0.74 conceded, 7.7 or 0.75 XG against. Very well done. And then Aston Villa is showing some serious strength as well. Uh, just all overall, just well done. A flat three goals per game. That is definitely their highest that we've seen, I believe. 1.21 conceded, yeah, they're, they're still up there, even though it's a little down from their usual, but XG against is 1.11. Premier League stats, most points per game, Liverpool in first with 2.74, Aston Villa does have a drop to 2.24, but still, second place, not bad. Most goals, of course, first and second, 128 for Liverpool, 114 for Aston Villa. Fewest shots against Liverpool in first with 238, Aston Villa all the way down in seventh with 353. Most possession, Liverpool and Aston Villa, 55% down to 53%. Most dribbles made, Liverpool in third with 703, Aston Villa with 678. And then most shots for it, Liverpool with 771, both above 700, both above 750. Aston Villa with 764. And as always, how did Ipswich Town do? You know, he's second place. I mean, you're three points off that first place Norwich, but still second place well above Southampton in third. You've got automatically promoted doing very well. And having a terrific time in the domestic cups as well. A Carabao Cup quarterfinals, you lose that to Fulham 2-4, to four, which is kind of hurtful. But you get to the semifinals of the FA Cup 0-2 to or against Tottenham. 
So overall, I mean, a pretty fantastic job by Ch in the championship. No question about it. Second place, she would have got liked to have gotten that first. Just a couple more draws or, you know, one win more. But still, overall, terrific right there. FA Cup semis, not bad at all. Carabao Cup quarters, not bad at all. Very well done overall. And then Ipswich Town stats, you got 23 goals for George Hurst, kind of on the downward side, but he's still getting 44 appearances, which is fantastic. Assists, 32 for Leaf Davis, there you go. And then average rating, a 757 for Leaf Davis. Championship stats, Ipswich Town in second with 226. Most goals, though, front runners all the way with 125. Fewer shots against in first with 312. Most dribbles made in sixth with 788. And most shots for in first with 817. Well, let us take a look at the tactic itself. This is the Osmo RPM XI. Just to remember, uh, sweeper keeper in defense is where we start a fullback in attack on the left, an inverted wingback on the right in support. Ball playing defenders in the central spots as usual, a roaming playmaker in support next to a Suga de Volante in attack next to a winger in support, an attacking midfielder on the left central side in attack, and then a complete forward in support up front next to an advanced forward in attack to the left. Attacking mentality, in possession, attacking with his narrow, approach play is passed to space, overlap on the left and the right, focus played on the left, passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher, low crosses, run a defense and be more disciplined. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more, and invite crosses. So as an overall, how did this do for our three teams? Yeah, I think it did pretty well. Ipswich Town in second place. Yeah, we've seen them higher, but dang, the 104 points is still pretty fantastic to take a look at. And if we look at Liverpool and Aston Villa, first and second in the league, phenomenally done. I mean, Aston Villa is not too high compared to, you know, Tottenham and Manchester United and all that. Liverpool doing a fantastic job, but Aston Villa is getting a lot more than what they should be getting. And that's where the key is. So, you could, again, you could try this 10 different times, get 10 completely different results. The stats are what counts. And I think if you took control of this, you would be doing a lot of hands-on manipulation of the team during matches, which is where it really counts. Bringing in some transfers that would fit the tactic more, getting rid of the dead weight that won't. And I think that you would do a much better job than what my assistant coaches are doing right here because they don't do anything. But keep that in mind when you take a look at these videos. But overall, I think you could do a pretty good job. And I think it, the system itself did a pretty good job. But that's it for me, 7FM. For the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.